welcome over, welcome back to Tiny Help at Cisco. In this example, we need to find the derivative of these two functions. And for this, we're going to use what is called a chain rule. And probably another rule, which is the power. So let's start with part A and y prime, which is the derivative of y with respect of x, will be the derivative with respect of x of 5x squared minus 3 to the power of 3 fourths. And you already notice I said the power of 3 over 4 or 3 fourths. That means I'm going to use what is called the power rule first here. And I'm going to have here 3 over 4. That power goes up front. And then I have 5x squared minus 3 to the power of 3 over 4 minus 1. So I use the power rule, as I said, times what? The derivative with respect of x of 5x squared minus 3. So this is the chain rule that you see here on this second row. So we have to do some simplification first. 3 over 4 times 5x minus 3 to the power of 3 over 4 minus 1. Then it will be negative 1 over 4. And the derivative with respect of x of 5x squared minus 3 is 10x. We can do some simplification here. Both of them uh, have a common factor of 2. So we have here a 2 down and here a 5. So let's see what we get. We get 15x. And then be careful. We have a 2 here. And then we can change this negative exponent in a positive exponent. And we have 5x minus 3 to the power of 1 over 4. This is y prime. This is a good form. Of course, you can use the radical form of 5x minus 3 to the 1 over 4. That will be another good form. Let's move to the second part. And on the second part, the first thing you want to do is to change this expression in 1 minus x squared to the power of 1 over 3. I think it's easier to handle in this way this f of x, in fact, f prime of x, which is going to be the derivative with respect of x of 1 minus x squared to the power of 1 over 3. S similar with the previous part, part a. First of all, I'm going to use this uh, power rule, and I'm going to have 1 over 3 times 1 minus x squared to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1 times the derivative with respect of x of uh, 1 minus x squared. And let's see what we have here. We have 1 over 3, 1 minus x squared to the power of negative 2 over 3 times and now the second part, the derivative with respect of x of 1 minus x squared is negative 2x. So uh, one of the final form will be negative 2x over 3 times the quantity 1 minus x squared to the power of 2 over 3. Like I said, this is one good form where you keep this exponent of two-thirds for the denominator. Of course, you can change that in a radical form if you think that helps. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see squared for more help. Thank you.